Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to the Angel Power healing messages and reading that wants to come through today. So it is very early in the morning and I was guided to four decks. They're all angel decks. We're going to tap into angel therapy, the archangel messages, what your uh, angels want you to know messages, and we're going to end it with angels of light. But they wanted me to show you the backs of the cards because you are not alone. You're not alone. There's tremendous healing going on here. There's tremendous love support backing, even when you feel that you're doing things alone, to keep your mind and heart open and stay connected so that you know that and that most importantly, you feel that. You're gonna be guided on next steps if things are not clear. Um, and to claim peace for yourself has been coming through because we're turning, the wheels are turning to the new and you're going to be shown what next to do it's going to be clear so you don't have to worry you can release your burdens um, there's tremendous healing coming up of releasing they called it a great purge and a great release for greater uniting for yourself and others for bonding and create and uniting with yourself and others so it's any parts of yourself that have been screaming for attention, like see me, hear me, could be coming up right now to really be healed, to really be seen and really be heard and for you to pay attention to. And those are gonna spiral into additional changes for you. I can say personally what's been really worked on at, with me this last month, and you may resonate, it may be something else for you, but it's self-worth. And um, where in your life, uh, have you not, where it's been, they were showing me all these places in my life where it's reflecting that my self-worth, it, it's not reflecting properly. Like when they were saying newly discovered self-worth changes everything. And so what could really be shown to light is where you've permitted um, a devaluing, whether it was of your time, your energy, your love, your heart, your soul, like what you're pouring your natural resources in, they always call it invaluable worth. And sometimes we're not giving proper worth. And so that's what's being reflected back to us. And there's a lot of healing with that. Like they said, it's a great purge and great release. They're calling it freedom inside and out, but it's uncomfortable during the process. Great purge and great freedom, great purge, great release for greater uniting with yourself and with others. Um, and so at the end of this, when we go into the new and we're creating, it's gonna be probably reflected back to us um, what we are going through right now. So it's definitely a new chapter. So there are new levels of healing now and it's going to be probably different for everyone. But the commonality is that we're all kind of demanding um, to be seen, to be heard, to be of worth fully. You could see that on the big stage. Um, you know, you have to be seen, you have to be heard, um, you have to be respected. Um, you know, all of these things, but it's also what we're doing in the deepest parts of us. Um, and so you're gonna see that some things have just really are not coming back, that we're not going to even be choosing that again or not allowing that again or making changes going forward um, to make sure that what's being reflected to us is a proper reflection, if that makes sense. Um, and so it, it does feel like, um, people were likening it to another level of ascension and possibly, yeah, because uh, we're forever changing. Everything that they're bringing forth is about new awareness. And it's, I feel it in my solar plexus that they're asking us to stand more strongly in our truth and in our authenticity and in all we are, no matter how we judge it. You know, sometimes we are the ones that we're not speaking up, we're not standing up, we're not taking the necessary actions for ourselves or others. And in this new chapter, there's a lot that our solar plexus has to be activated and also aligned to our heart and, um, and our divine wisdom to carry out. So like they had me create that divine power deck, it really has been a work that we're co-creating here. So our divine power is so necessary. Um, there was a lot of messages about tend to your inner flame and make sure it's burning bright no matter 
who or what you've encountered along the way that's affected it along the way that we almost have to nurse our own inner flame. So together we're individually doing a lot of healing ourselves to rise up more fully in all we are and we definitely have love support backing for this process and that's why they're showing me the backs of these cards so you do not feel alone in this process at all you're never alone um, if things are not clear they will be made more clear if you're looking for uh, signs symbols messages along the way they will be there keep your eyes and and ears open uh, right on your path you could be giving and you don't have to explain to anybody but you'll be getting signs symbols messages confirmations um and the most thing is to be calm and be at peace and be soothing um with yourself as you go forward um be on your own side has been a recurring message but they're really helping us to go forward to this new chapter in a new way um and it's going to bring changes to everything. So you may feel individually that you're working on a lot of things or all of a sudden you're having aha moments or you're reviewing your life so far almost as if you've passed over. You know how they always say you review your whole life. Um, you could be going through that where you're um, overseeing your whole life to this point and seeing the patterns and you're stepping out of that maze. Like what is a pattern that you are reliving over and over? What's an experience that if you just change the names of the characters in your life, you're still living that theme. We're kind of stepping out of that matrix. They're showing us how, um, and you're not alone in the process. So it could really feel like you're coming fully back to yourself because they're calling it a more uniting with all you are. Um, but in that process, there's like real evaluation, real healing going on, and a real almost determination to bring the new forward and to have the fire, they call it like the fire in your solar plexus to carry this out, what you're doing, and to feel empowered as you go and feel supported as you go. So a lot of these messages coming out today is gonna be supportive of that healing, and they're calling an angel power healing to help us in this process because we're gonna be bringing more of all we are to things in this next chapter. And they're very much calling it like a new chapter. And in fact, they were having me referred to before COVID as BC, which is really interesting. BC, you know, there's a lot of things that are BC before COVID, and then there's gonna be a real significant change, changes after COVID. On the big stage, of course, but also individually, we've been changed too. And this process, so now going forward, um, it's gonna be for the new. It's for making things better for yourself and others. And it's bringing a higher awareness. And people may not have the vocabulary for it, but you're seeing the shifts in their lives, the new choices in their lives, what has more uh, meaning to them, what has genuine worth to them. They're really themselves, that it's all about being authentic and true and, um, and bringing more of all you are. And so wherever was in the way of that is part of that great purge and release so we can further greater unite. They're calling it the great purge and release for greater uniting with yourself and with others. So whatever we're doing individually helps the collective. Um, so this is beautiful. So I will stop uh, babbling about this, but they definitely wanted me to show you the backs of the cards so you know that you're not alone. So you're gonna be getting light, wisdom, signs, symbols, messages, ideas. If you get inspired, um, if you're feeling and you know a connect really connected or um like they said all our clairs are getting more clear so you're really living by we almost don't have the words for it it's beyond intuition but you're really waiting until you feel really guided when it really feels aligned to your soul when um it's really uh reflecting the deepest part of you you want to stay positive and uplift uplifted um you have less time for negativity toxicity and it's being easier to move on um like they said we have guardian angels but take a stand with your guardian angel what are you allowing in and out um so all of these things we're getting a lot closer and it's closer to and we're also going forth in this way that our new life is going to be created on that level of frequency and that level of connection that it is forever changed um so everything that we are now made of now and bringing forth that's part of being that new magician um, and it's going to be reflected to you in the world in this new chapter the changes that have happened 
Um, so this is a really transitional time. Like they said, they keep on saying BC before COVID and, and then after COVID, it's gonna be very different and people are different. Um, yeah, I think we all did a lot of inner work and outer work. And so this is this healing right now that's taking place, it is definitely for greater uniting with yourself, bringing more of all you are to things in this new chapter. And, and, and the end result is to make things better for yourself and others. So we're all being divinely used, we're all connected. Um, and it could be, you're feeling it in different ways, but we're all going through this is what they're saying. So it's gonna be a really interesting time going forward. And they always say have patience because nothing blooms overnight, but um, this is just the angel power healing to be the support, the love and support for this process. So let's get into it. I know I keep babbling, but they keep giving me more. We're gonna tap into angel therapy, archangels, angel messages, and the angels of light for messages as well. So let's get into the angel healing. So why are they having me do this reading? Because I had no, um, you know, I didn't think to do this reading. So let's see, I'm curious with you for the angel healing. What are the angel healing messages that want to come through? They're calling it angel power healing to know you're not alone. You have angel power healing. You're connected to angel power healing. Ooh, there's a card that's turned around already in this deck. Am I losing it? Yes. Listen to your intuitive feelings. Do you see that? Um, listen, listen to your intuitive feelings. Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. So you have to know that when I was talking about Clara abilities, you are so connected. Do you see how this is going right to her? What you're getting, it's beyond intuitive. Your body reads energy, your mind, your heart, you're picking, we're all energy. Um, you're really tapped in. Listen to your intuitive feelings. I know that's your divine connection. It's amplified at this time. Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine as well. So what I was feeling like in my solar plexus, what I was, like listen to your body if you feel stressed if you feel um you have to take care of something if you're picking up energy feeling energy in your body that's a way that it's communicated to us um there was another card that came out recently trust what your body's telling you about people circumstances situations if you feel uplifted and inspired and higher vibration with people, with situations, you know, listen to what your body is reacting to when coming into contact with certain energy, because it's your divine compass, even our body. So if I'm talking on the phone with somebody and I feel like I'm sinking, I may want to get off the phone sooner. Or if I'm talking to a new customer or client and I just feel my body is reacting in a really bizarre way. It's like, listen, that's part of your clear ability. So this has been coming through a lot. Listen to your intuitive feelings. You could feel that, yes, I feel guided over here or I'm not quite sure or clear, then you wait until you're clear. Our intuitive feelings, all our intuitive feelings is so activated at this time and it's heightened at this time. Part of my channel, to be honest with you, is all that we all have this divine connection. We all have every ability. Like when I leave free spirit messages and everything else, I everybody has the intuition. Everybody ha gets divine ideas. I mean, even if they don't call it that, even if they don't call themselves spiritual, every single person's being divinely used, divinely inspired, um, getting divine I creativity, ideas, um, everyone gets that gut feeling, that intuition, um, synchronicities. So people don't have to call themselves anything. They're still li having this um, abilities and also it's trumping other things. So it could be that you have in your mind and determination that you're gonna go to A to B, but if in the process from A to B, you're getting these feelings, um, you're going to be listening to them and it's trumping everything else. So we're actually living on a different frequency, like your feet are on the ground, but you're utilizing things that we don't have words for necessarily. 
And it's not just based on your eyes and ears. You're definitely paying attention to the energy of things. You're definitely paying attention to where you feel guided. You're definitely um, listening to your body, to your intuitive feelings. And your body is definitely telling you also, like if you're having reactions, if you're feeling stressed, if you're feeling up, um, you know, you're receiving, and you're also there with sleeping out, you're receiving accurate messages from the divine. So sometimes we doubt the validity. We doubt what we're getting. And part of the biggest journey ever is to just start trusting yourself more. So there's nothing really, I want to also say there's nothing really, if anything that my channel is about, there's nothing so, yes, it feels magical, but they're trying to normalize spirit. <laughs> That's really what my whole thing channel is about not to put it on a pedestal not to say that I can do this and you can't it's that we all have this ability that it is to be normalized like we're normalizing spirit we're normalizing a new way of, li of living that we actually listen to the energy the what our body's reacting to we're moving on inspired ideas um, you know, so a lot of this is normalizing. Yes, it's magical when we're in the flow. Don't get me wrong. It feels beautiful, love, support, and everything else. But there's something that they're always trying to bring through about us normalizing this way of life, normalizing spirit. This is the way to live. One foot in the physical, one in the spiritual, um, and being that bridge here. And then when you're listening to your intuitive feelings, that's when you always feel in the flow. Um, and you're trusting where it's going and it's leading look at this light here and here's the rainbow and it's helping you to manifest and bloom what you want in your life um, and it's also having making sure that you are aligned to happiness um, so I just want to listen to your intuitive feelings is definitely a message here for healing that you can trust a you're not alone trust you all your intuitive feelings it's your divine compass it's not never steering you wrong and when it comes to people, situations, and everything else, it's not only are you feeling connected and you get divine ideas, inspired, but listen, your body also tells you. Um, so if you're having reactions in your body when it comes to uh, situations, when you think of something, it's like trust what you're getting. Sometimes you get it in your stomach. A lot of times I would get it in my head or in my shoulders, this tenseness. Also, if you have nerves, like nervousness. Um, when I was a child, oh my gosh. I mean, I could feel energy coming from miles away and it could be a little um, uncomfortable and almost nervous anxiety until it shows up because you don't know where it's coming or from what. But that's where our solar plexus can be activated that you're strong enough to face anything that's coming. So if you're picking up energy, don't let it go into um, nerves or anxiety, which is easy to do. You just soothe yourself and say, I can face anything, I'm prepared. Very often you will know who it's coming from, especially if you just got off the phone with someone, you were experiencing some situation, um, you'll know. But I'm just saying, even if you're almost predictive or you're sensing energy before it arrives, know that you're strong enough to sit in your feelings. See how she's sitting and relaxed and at peace in this picture? So it's like listening to your intuitive feelings, trusting you know exactly what to do with that information is a big thing. And, and that you are one and aligned with spirit and that you can rest in, assured in that, that you have that for your, whatever you're blooming in your life and your happiness. It's. Um, it's a beautiful thing to embrace. It's um, that you're listening to your intuitive feelings. It's trumping everything else almost. So you can just relax in that. You're receiving accurate messages from the divine. That's for your happiness, for your abundance. You can rest and be at peace in that. Um, that's the number one card they want to bring forth for healing. So just going back to the number one thing that you are not alone. You're not doing anything alone. And we have... Yes, look at this. Have you asked your angels for help with this? So there could be times here that we're actually um, asking, whether out loud or in our minds and hearts, uh, for divine help. And we're sitting there and asking for divine help. Maybe we're looking at things in our physical and we're looking for what's going to bloom abundance, what's going to create happiness, who, what, where. And here it says, have you asked your angels for help with this? And here it says, your angels want to help you with this situation. However, they require your permission before they can intervene in your free will choices. Um, so you have to literally ask your angels for help. Also, you have to 
quiet down, like I was mentioning, the nerves, anxiety, or people or situations that are just noise uh, for you to be able to tune in and actually receive the guidance. Uh, sometimes we're too cluttered or we have too much going on. We're busying ourselves. We're too frenetic. Um, it almost reminds me of rocky, wavy uh, emotions. Um, so it's like calming the seas and sitting here calmly and then ask for help. Um, also, this is where magical help comes in. And I do have to say, I, I love prayer and connecting and asking and everything else, but they also already know. And if you just give them permission, I need your help or thank you for being there for me. Um, just acknowledging them that they know that you, they can intervene at any point. You're open, your mind is open, your heart is open. Um, you wanna be guided. Um, they, you don't even have to say it out loud. They do know your intentions and your angels want to help you. And so I find this is a very reassuring thing that every time you're asking for help consciously, unconsciously, they already know your intention. They're slipping in there and they're saying, listen to your intuitive feelings. So they're like whispering in your ear. So say you're asking for help about ideas. They're giving you the ideas through your clear audience, clear cognizance. Um, if you're asking for help with a situation, they can help make your body, um, like you're feeling the tenseness or you're feeling, um, they're helping you in various ways. You could feel guided. Um, sometimes you're guided to music um, when you're feeling down or there's a message in the lyrics and you feel a shift in your energy and your spirit and the angels have stepped in to help you with this. So the angels are, what they're making me rattle off is they come in all ways. And so very often angels, uh, your spirit guides and loved ones pass on, use things in the physical to get your attention. So it could be a song coming on the radio and you're all of a sudden uplifted in spirit, pay attention to the lyrics. All of a sudden, you can get a divine idea or a nudging or guiding to do this or do that or not to do this, not to do that. So trust what you're getting intuitively when it comes to what you're hearing and feeling but all, and your body. Um, your body also will let you know if you're feeling tense, are you feeling relaxed? Are you feeling peace? Are you feeling, you know, so pay attention to that, but your angels are definitely helping you. And so with this, I feel like the angels are really coming in here uh, to help you with the situations. They're helping you through your intuitive abilities. So when you are asking for help, you're getting it through your intuition. You're getting it through all your clairs. They're coming in here is what they're saying. And they're coming in here with a lot. So they're asking, they're making me mention so many things because I feel like it's so spread out. It's so expansive how they're there for you. Um, and you know that. And the next card we're getting, yeah, because why you are profoundly clairvoyant. Um, so doubling down again, how your angels, loved ones, pass on your spirit guides are coming through, are through all your clairs. And like they said, listen to your intuitive feelings. When you ask for help from the angels, they're coming in in so many different ways. Your clairs are wide open. You are profoundly clairvoyant. Um, so this is what they want to bring forth today to, for anyone who's finding this video. You have to know that you are profoundly, all your clears are really open and this is how they're communicating with you. So you really listen to your clears, your clear cognizant, clear audience, um, clear knowing, seeing, hearing, um, feeling, sentient. Um, you could be feeling energy. Trust when you're feeling energy of other people in situation. You know, that's all part of clear sentience, feeling energy. Um, feeling spirit, um, you are profoundly clairvoyant. So all your clairs are even more open, I would say, because I must feel like the wings are parted and when they talk about the veils are parted. Trust what you see in your mind's eye as well as with your physical sight for your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. So what they're saying is they want you to trust. Remember they said the number one thing is to trust what you're getting and you're also being divinely used because your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. So knowing that trusting what you get is going to be pivotal for your life and others because you're also being divinely used. So the more you trust what you're getting, it helps you personally, but then also you're applying it to all the things you're pouring yourself into. You're gonna be more full of your solar plexus trusting what you're getting and doing the divine action that helps you and others um, if you're trusting more of what you're getting. So what you see in your mind's eye, as well as with your physical sight, for your spiritual vision 
It helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. So everything is helping you to do what you need to do in the physical, and it's also, you're probably being divinely used for others. Um, it's helping you with he further healing, teaching, and guidance. Um, so they're seeing, they're coming through, definitely through all your clairs. Um, and it's helping you heal, teach, and guidance. And I feel like also you're being divinely used. So the big thing is to listen to, listen to your intuitive feelings, all your clairs, and trust them. And that is your divine help as you're going through here with this. This is angel, or they call it angel power healing, that you have angels all around you. Listen to your intuitive feelings. They're acknowledging you're profoundly clairvoyant. So trust everything you're getting. Apply it to your life for yourself and others. And through this, you're going to be divinely used also. Um, let's get the archangel messages because this is like no doubt. Of, okay, we're getting two right away and you're not going to believe what I'm getting here. You know what to do, Claire audience. Do you see this? You can't make this up. So listen to your intuitive feelings. Here's the angels. You're profoundly clairvoyant. You already know what to do. They said trust your mind's eye. Like you already have the vision. Why? Um, because you're already clairvoyant. Um, you're already clairaudient. All our clairs are open. Part of this is normalizing this um, and almost living on this frequency, even though your feet are on the ground, because you do know what to do. You're clear cognizant. <laughs> okay. I always call you the high priestess at work, everyone on my channel. Archangel Uriel, trust again. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Do you see? Trust. Listen and trust. Clear audience. Uh, Archangel Zachiel, notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind and from other people. Yes, clear audience. You are hearing spirit. You're getting divine ideas. You're getting... Um, their wisdom, you're getting their, just when I put spirit messages, when I'm transcribing spirit messages, but you're getting them as well. Everyone's getting them, even if they don't call themselves spiritual. They can wake up with a great idea. They can get an aha moment. Um, clear audience. But for this reading, everyone who's on here, your clear abilities are off the charts. I've been saying this for the last year. It's how we're navigating everything. Um, so they're saying, listen and trust. You're profoundly clairvoyant, clear audience, clear sentient. Um, and so notice the loving guidance that you're actually getting. Here's the angel help and notice it and then act upon it without delay. You already know what to do. It's feeling a linked one and the same, like you're linked with them. Um, so let's get messages from our angels for this. This is angel power healing. Angel power healing. Ooh, messages. Okay, hold on. I got to calm down because this is just being very clear that all our clear abilities are really clear and that's how we're getting the guidance. Mystique, yes. So keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. So this is part of what I was saying about our solar plexus being activated to stand up, to keep going, to be determined, striving forward. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous um solutions to appear so when you're going forward like this they want you to keep moving forward determined there was a lot about the solar plexus because and it's part of the mystique and the magic but you're riding forth with this um but there's a lot of determining there's a lot with the solar plexus i do want to say keep charging forward they want us to keep charging forward and we're getting astara yeah you deserve the best you deserve the best speech for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. Do you see how it's like, don't say no, don't compromise. If you're doing things alone, you're not doing it alone. <clears throat> We're getting, <clears throat> oh my God, we got so many cards. Oh my gosh, you can't make this up. All four uh, popped out at the same time. I'm going to cry. I am <clears throat> sorry, my voice gave out, but you deserve the best to keep going, to keep charging. You're not doing anything alone. <clears throat> I have to take a sip of something. This really hit me. Wow. Okay. I am leading you toward the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. They're leading the way. Leading the way leading the way. Do you see this? You deserve the best and they're leading the way. And here, your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. They want you to know you're being well cared for. 
you're be you're being really well cared for. So stay determined, charging forth, listening to your intuition. They're guiding the steps. They're literally the steps here. They're guiding the way. They're saying you deserve the best. You're being cared for. You deserve the best, and they're guiding you up the steps. So stay determined and listen to your intuition. You're being guided. And we all are. It's for the better for you and others. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm so sorry, my voice. And this is affirmation confirmation that your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. And I feel that's why I'm doing this reading. It's like we're being cared for by the angels here, being led. Listen and trust your intuitive feelings. You're profoundly clairvoyant, clairsentient, clairaudient. You already know what to do, so you follow through, you stay determined. You reach for the stars, you deserve the best. That's what they're saying. Um, don't accept no, don't compromise. It's like you may be going in a direction that you feel that you're alone. Um, very often that we are the leaders, we are the creators, um, we are paving a new path because they're guiding us up the steps. They're showing us the light and the way. So it's all through our clairs. I can't make this, and this is the love that's coming through to take care of us through our intuitive, into through all our clairs. That's how you're being cared for through your clairs. I just want to say that. And that's why I always call you the high priestess at work. It's through that. We're going to end it with angels of light. Oh my gosh. This is like, we're going to end it with angels of light. What would they like? The last couple of messages they would like to send us off with angels of light. Yeah, I did this reading detachment you see how important this is according to spiritual law you can have anything your heart desires however if your happiness sense of security or feeling of power depends on someone or something in your life then you are attached to that person or thing and it is a chain which binds you to a lower frequency frequency and keeps you stuck your guidance is to ask the angels to help you cut the cords remember they were asked your angels have you asked your angels for help? And we had Archangel Michael come through a lot, by the way, about, what do they say, the great purge and release for greater uniting. So your guidance is to ask the angels to help you cut the cords that tie you to people, things, and emotions. When all attachments are released, you can no longer be manipulated emotionally. And this enables you to reclaim your power, the solar plexus, and be genuine. Free your spirit. You can't you can't make this up for your spirit and that of others. Let go now. Free your spirit. You're on the free spirit channel. Free your spirit and that of others. Let go now. I release everyone and everything. My spirit is free. So they're asking us to be truly free, detached from the people of the circumstances. Um, and pay close attention to your intuitive feelings about what is that, what you're cutting cords from. Like they said, BC, what are you bringing to this new chapter? Clarity. We're getting the clarity on this. Angel wisdom reminds you that a busy, cluttered mind is a sick one and a still, clear mind is a divine one. Remember in the beginning, they showed me choppy waters and smooth seas so you can get the, the guidance, the clear, all your clairs open. We may be too busy or cluttered sometimes to hear it, to get it, to follow it, to trust it, to feel guided, to feel at one with it. So it's a busy, cluttered mind that's a sick one. A still, clear mind is a divine one. We're getting a lot of clarity. Allow, I think <clears throat> this whole period helped us with detachment. It was a very uh, strange circumstances that led us to this detachment and clarity on what's important, what we can let go. Um, allow the wisdom in your heart to radiate out and dissolve the chatter of your mind. Know that your angel has drawn this to your attention and is waiting to help you in your task. They're helping us. They're showing us the steps, remember? So quietly, sit quietly so that you can find the stillness within. Then you can shine a pure, clear light onto every area of your life. And that's what they were saying in the very beginning. In the clarity of this light, the angels will reveal a new way of being. This is what they're saying. This is what we're going into. In the clarity of this light, the angels will reveal a new way of being. You will see things differently and be able to make decisions from strength and clarity. And the affirmation is, my mind is quiet, still, and clear. They're helping us with the clarity of the steps, inside and out, um, to the new. I mean, this is so clear. This is why I'm doing it. And the last one is Archangel Raphael. Oh yes, you are blessed to attract this angel card for Archangel Raphael brings health, 
healing and abundance and he will help you to develop your intuition and inner vision call on him if you need help in these areas now he also protects travelers during journeys so this is a fortunate card if you are about to travel if you are a healer or wish to be one archangel raphael will direct pure divine energy to you that is where they said listen to your clairs you're being you're being told to do all of this because you're bringing it forth for future, for teaching, healing, guidance. So we're all being divinely you. So what you're doing, you're bringing to things, your work, your personal, you're being divinely you. So if you're a healer or wish to be one, and I don't mean you have to call yourself a healer. You could be, you could be spiritual, a healer. You could do card readings. You could do healings. You could do all this. You could also just be, um, a teacher, you could be any uh, profession that you're bringing that type of energy to those situations and those people. We're all doing that in various ways. So I wanted to, they wanted also to make it clear, you don't have to call yourself a spiritual healer, be involved in tarot, oracle readings. You could be a doctor, you could be a teacher, you could be a janitor, you could be, you know, you're bringing wisdom, healing to whatever situation places, people that you're in contact with. Um, so it's very important to say that too, because this is part of normalizing spirit. Like it's not just a little corner of the universe. And if you call yourself this, you're affected by this. We all are in whatever capacity you show up. We're all spirit. We're all divinely connected. We're all being divinely used. We all have clear abilities. We're all listening to them no matter what. Um, we call it, um, it's universal. It's um, So there's something about really normalizing spirit that's um, really important to one step in the physical, one in the spiritual. But they're saying if you are a healer or wish to be one, Archangel Raphael will direct pure divine energy to you. And so that's why all our clairs are open so we can be a divine channel of that pure divine energy. When you get the inspiration, you carry it out. When you get, you know, so that's why it's co-creating. He works on the green ray of healing and brilliance. So visualize yourself surrounded by a clear green light and invoke his guidance. I am happy, healthy, and abundant and you deserve it and you're being cared for so all of this is a detachment from the old like they call it bc like all the before crap <laughs> before covid to have clarity to move forward um and all your clears are open you're being divinely guided and you're being very blessed here because when you go this way you're being fused with the divine energy and you're the outpouring um so you're getting actually from the archangels they're directing pure divine energy to you to be used in this fashion so definitely detach there was a lot coming through about tend to your inner flame keep it burning bright because the world you and the world needs you lit up fully so we're recuperating we're purging releasing a lot that has affected our light our our power within our divinity our clear abilities are open stay connected you're getting trust and listen to your intuitive feelings because that is guiding you up the steps for what for abundance uh literally literally saying it's going to be guiding you to abundance um, listen and he's telling you to listen to your intuition and your intuitive feelings your vision all your clairs and they're assuring you that if you are a healer or whatever you're bringing to situations they're directing pure divine energy to you um, so they're working through you they're creating they're helping through you to create things to make things happier healthier up more abundant that's the goal of us all right and so the angels are here for it and they're working with us through all our clairs, all your intuitive feelings. So you're never alone, but it's definitely through all our intuitive feelings. And um, there's a lot that they're helping with, with detachment, clarity, and then this is the love and support. Archangel Raphael is the love and support and backing that divine energy to flow. And like they said, because here, your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. And I feel like this is the angel love support backing that's helping us to continue. Because they, for us to keep charging forward, you deserve the best and they're giving us the steps and guiding us. So this is a lot of love support backing um, that wanted to come through here. And most of all, to trust and listen to your intuitive feelings because that's how they're working through us. Um, so I wish you the best. This has been the Angel Power Healing for whenever you see this. Take care, bye-bye.